Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio here at Medicum Village in Lund. Today I am joined by CS Medica and uh, CEO Luna Henriksen who will tell us more about the company. Welcome. Thank you very much. So first of all, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course. I'm a regional chemical engineer from the Danish Technical University. And then I topped up that education with quality assurance and a bachelor in um, strategic marketing. And then I have more than 20 years of experience in the pharmaceutical industry with focus on R&D, logistics and quality assurance. And uh, from you to, to CS Medica, can you tell us a little bit about what the company does? Yes, uh, the company develops uh, medical devices containing cannabinoids from uh, cannabis and also a cosmetic line with the benefits of uh, the CBD found in uh, cannabis. The company CS Medica is, have two fully owned Danish uh, subsidiaries. We have uh, Canordic, which is registered as a um, medical device manufacturer, and Galaxa Pharma, which is a distribution company in the Nordic area. And uh, what kind of products do you currently have on the market and, and what's your pipeline like? Yeah. Currently, we have two product lines uh, under the trade name Canacen. We have Canacen CBD uh, treatment line, and then we have Canacen CBD skin care, calm and restoring line. And then currently, we are doing some clinical trials in uh, India where we are combining our treatment line, which is a topical uh, product containing the CBD, with an oral. And why our products actually are topical is because the cannabinoids has a very low oral uh, bioavailability, but topical, we have around 45%. And what we are trying to obtain with the clinical trial in uh, India is actually to see that one plus one gives more than two. When you have, for example, psoriasis, it's immune system attacking the skin because the immune system doesn't uh, see the skin cells as its own. Where the oral, is more to reduce the stress level in the body because the stress is actually a trigger for psoriasis. Right. And, um, and all our tra treatment products is uh, current uh, patent pending. Well, that's good that you mentioned the, the patent there because it gives me a lead into the next question, which is about your business strategy. What does that look like? Well, our main uh, competitive advantage is, of course, that our products is medical devices. And as the regulation has just changed here in May from MDD to MDR, uh, we have the um, possibility to stay on the market basically alone, first of all, because we are first mover in that area. And then because of the requirements to get um, a product approved in the MDR it takes quite a long time. So we are seeing into being alone in two years where we, while we are um, um, getting our approval as a class 2A under the new regulation. And when it comes to the relationship with, with your customers, cannabinoids are still fairly new on, yeah. on the market. How do you communicate, educate the customers in their use? Well, we have an open access uh, portal where we share all our knowledge, all our um, clinical trials, reviews, tests, which is done on the, the, on the cannabinoids and different illness. This is as public access for everyone to see. And if we turn looking at, at the markets, which markets are you targeting? The markets we're currently targeting with our products is uh, patients within psoriasis, arthritis, pain, uh, wounds, um, insomnia, and uh, for antigens. Right. And you are now carrying out a share issue. Could you tell us a little bit about the setup of that share issue? Yes, uh, we are about to raise around 33.1 million Danish crowns. This is going to be done in two rounds. The first round uh, will be here in August this year. Uh, and then second round will be 12 months later in uh, 2022 based on warrants. And uh, how will you use the money? The money is, of course, be going to be used in our continual um, clinical trials and R&D, development of new products. It's going to be on patents. It's going to be ensuring that we uh, unfold into all the markets in the EU, because when you have a medical device, you can basically sell it in all of EU. 
And uh, finally, if we look at the rest of 2021, which milestones are you hoping that CS Medica will achieve? Well, definitely we will hope to get all our products. That means the uh, arthritis, psoriasis gel, our wound gel, our paint patch, our nasal uh, gel, and our um, nasal spray. And then of course our newest launch, which is the uh, anti-hair loss product which has actually been tested under the COVID-19 last year, which was a little bit of a shock for us when that all, everything closed down. But uh, basically when we look back at it, then the product was tested under the st uh, stress condition, which a patient actually would be in. And we've got some very, very good results. So we are just about to launch it in Denmark and uh, hopefully soon also in Sweden and other countries. It look like you have an exciting time ahead of you then. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I'm sure. And then also what we see is actually basically the market is projected, market of CBD is now projected from 2021 to 2028 to grow approximately 47% a year. Mm. And this is of course mostly the products which is approved products, those who are within the medical area mm. who will have the highest race. Mm. So we hope absolutely to benefit from this projection. Well, we look forward to following you and thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you.